Hello, this is Kate, and this is your weekly oracle card reading. And today I'm going to be using the Ascended Masters um, Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. Okay, so we've got an exciting week ahead of us with Christmas coming up on the weekend. And so let's see what the beginning of the week has in store for us. Okay, so we've got the card of... Um, oh, I'm terrible at pronouncing these names. Manjushri. And this card says, listen. So the beginning of the week is all about um, active listening and being able to to really open up and listen to those around us, like our family, friends, and coworkers. But I think most importantly, this card is suggesting that we listen more to ourselves. So listening to your deeper self, your inner self, higher self. Um, and there's a few different ways we can do this. It's especially hard kind of the week leading up to Christmas. A lot of people are really busy and there's a lot of um, kind of busy work involved with shopping and, and getting things ready. And so one way you can, can better listen to yourself is to eliminate distractions like um, watching TV, having the radio on in the car while you're driving, and stuff like that, and making kind of uh, frequent yet unimportant phone calls and things that kind of um, take you out of yourself and, and distract you. Um, so one thing you can do is like just try driving in the car without immediately switching your radio on or try instead of coming home from work and just turning on the TV try um, you know just going about your chores in silence or just sitting on the couch and with a book or um, or meditating, something like that. So just kind of getting rid of the things in your day-to-day -day life that kind of pull you out of yourself and serve as a distraction. So this card is all about listening to yourself and um, also communicating with your guides and your guides and your angels. And if you have any kind of questions for your guides or things that you want to be more informed about or a little more clear on, the beginning of the week is a really good time to connect with them. And one way that you can do this is you can you can often um, ask a question right before you go to bed at night and kind of ask that, that, that the solution to your question or your issue be presented to you in your dream state. So that's one way that you can commune with your guides. And another way is to just directly ask and then kind of let yourself be silent and let yourself be still and just see what kind of um, sensations come into your body or what kind of... Um, images pop into your mind and so those are two different ways that you can um, communicate with your guides and angels. So the beginning of the week all about listening, kind of being present, being still and listening to yourself as well as others around you. Okay so moving on to the middle of the week and we've got Kathumi, stay focused. Okay so the middle of the week is all about, um, you know, getting clear on what's important to us, what it is we're wanting, and being able to stay focused on that. And I think this is especially important in the week leading up to the holidays because we often get very much sidetracked and kind of put things on hold that are important to us. And um, I don't know, this card has a lot of uh, significance for me in my life right now. And... It, basically, I think the message behind it is that if we have things that are important to us, we have to make that effort to devote the time and the energy to those things and, and really kind of put those things into our schedule and make sure that it happens. Because we're the only ones in our lives who can make sure that we spend that time on the things that are important to us. No one else is going to do it for us. Uh, so I would say the, the middle of the week, if you feel like you're getting kind of pulled in every which direction and you're feeling very much unfocused, um, one way to kind of combat this is to be very specific and organized with your schedule. So making lists, writing out schedules on what needs to be done, and making sure that you write in time for yourself there to, to do whatever it is that you need to do, um, or to, to devote that time and energy to the things that are important to you. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I want to say about this card. It's basically just a reminder to us that you don't really want to get too off track. If you know what's important to you and you know what you're wanting, 
um, and you know what you want to create, you want to remind yourself about that every day and make sure that you're staying on track. Because um, we can we can know what our life purpose is, but if we don't make the time and um, dedicate the energy towards making things happen and, and pursuing things, then it's almost kind of pointless to know what it is. Um, so yeah, middle of the week all about staying focused. Okay, so moving on to the weekend, which is the holidays, Christmas. We've got, oh, that's a nice card to get. Flow of Prosperity, Lakshmi. So that's a really nice card to get for Christmas. So Lakshmi is all about um, financial abundance, particularly. Um, so feeling prosperous. I mean, there's different ways that you can feel prosperous. You can feel prosperous in a way where you feel um, like there's a wonderful flow of love and you're feeling connected to those around you and you're feeling like you have everything you could possibly need. That's one, that's one interpretation of this card and, um, and another is, is more finance based in that even if you're worried about finances right now, this card is just a reminder to relax and things are going to work out for you and things are going to be fine. And you want to focus on prosperity and not on lack of prosperity. So if you feel like you know, things might not be that great for you financially right now, you want to focus on the prosperity. Focus on where in your life you are prosperous and focus on that feeling of prosperity that you get. So focus on the feeling and focus on that feeling of abundance and flow and the more you focus on that, the more that your finances are going to come around eventually. Okay, so it's all about staying positive and choosing what you want to focus on. And that doesn't mean that you can't be realistic and you can't, you know, plan and and that sort of a thing. But you want to stay very much positive and keep your vibration up when it comes to um, thinking and talking about finances and that sort of thing. Because everything is going to work out quite well. And it's all about flow, too. So it's all about letting things flow... Um, which is kind of um, fitting for Christmas time because a lot of people are spending a lot of money on gifts and things like that. Um, and also receiving as well. So it's all about giving and receiving and keeping that, that flow and that cycle moving nicely. Okay, so just a quick recap of the week. We've got the beginning of the week is all about quieting our minds and also quieting our environments. So making sure when you get home to make your home environment as peaceful and as quiet as you possibly can and taking that time to to not just listen to others but to listen to the voice of your the voice of your soul or to listen to yourself and and really reach out and make that effort to communicate with your guides about anything that you're wanting more information on and then near the middle of the week so Wednesday and Thursday we've got Kathumi stay focused so you really want to be clear on what's important to you, what it is you're wanting to create in your life, and making sure that you stay focused on that. And if you have problems with that, maybe make a list, make a schedule, and stick to your schedule, and, and make a you know a list of goals and stick to that. Um, and then towards the weekend for the holidays, we've got flow of prosperity. So good feelings, um, nice flow. Lots of um, lots of prosperity and 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 happiness and positivity. Lots of um, as you can see, the picture is very pretty. It's um, there's a lot of flowers blooming and it's a very magical picture. So we've got a really nice a nice weekend coming up. Um, really nice nice time with the holidays and everything. So I hope you found this helpful. My name's Kate and thank you so much for joining me.